Hey, this is Digital Byte Computing. Today we're gonna to look at how to add a website to your white list, your safe list within PFSense, and we're using SquidGuard. So let's look at how to do it right now. Here we are, we are logged into PFSense. So we're assuming that you already have PFSense installed and configured and that you have SquidGuard installed and configured and also Squid as well. I do have other videos on how to do that, so do check those out before looking at this. But we are here in the SquidGuard, uh, in the Squid area of our PFSense. So we're looking at services down here and going into Squid proxy server. And in this area, I wanna click on ACLs. All right, so I wanna select ACLs. You've got some Squid access control list or ACLs. You've got unrestricted IPs, banned host IPs, and then down the bottom, white lists. So these are IP addresses and I, and uh, you know DNS names, website names that I have deemed that I want them to be free and pass through my proxy without being blocked. So by default, it's gonna block a whole heap of stuff that you have already predetermined and perhaps you want certain websites to not be blocked. So you can go into your white list in here and actually add them into your safe list, into your white list quite easily. Once you put those in here, you can then go down to the bottom and click on save, and that will do it from a proxy level. You can also go into the squid guard area, right? So services squid guard. So now we can do it directly from the squid guard and go to target categories, and I can create a group in here of essentially allowed IP addresses or allowed web addresses. I can click on add, I can call it my whitelist. All right, from within here, I can put my domain names, my domain lists of IPs and host names that I want to be allowed. So let's say for whatever reason, Google has been blocked, I can put that in there. I can put in IP addresses, you know, that I want to be allowed in. I can put URL lists, etc. I can put them in directly into this target category. Let's just call it whitelist. Go down to the bottom and I can say save. All right. And then it's gonna show up in here. So this is now a target category called whitelist, which has those URLs or those things that I want added to my whitelist. I then go into the common ACL where I essentially apply that particular rule. I can put a target rule in place. Click on the plus, and you'll see in here, I've now got a white list in place, all right? This is the white list that we just created, all right? We created that in here. I now can say white list, all right? Quite easily, you can do the exact opposite, and you can create a black list where you can say deny. So we're gonna say uh, as a white list, in the group white lists, and then I can click on save, and that will do the trick. And once that's done, in your general settings, you obviously wanna make sure that your squid guard is active and that you've started it. And once you've done that, you will click on apply, and that will actually apply those settings into squid guard and have it activated. So feel free to comment below if you did find this helpful. Commenting does help me grow the channel and get the word out, and uh, we'll talk to you next time. So if you found that video helpful, please like it and subscribe to my channel, Digital Byte Computing, just on the button there for more videos.